painting of a man. Ooh, armor frost. Nice. I've Let's have a look around. Of... Oh, a thousand apologies. Oh. I'm just at wit's end, is all. Coincidence or not? Griff. Same name as the fox boss in Fort Joy. Ooh, and they barricade themselves here. His words are hot and black. He shimmies around True the blood. True fiend. Hmm. March for Lucian, flicker imps. He will guide <laughs> Do they have some drug addicts in here? Oh boy. Let's talk to the other Griff. This place is already overrun with addicts and orphans, and now I've got to deal with what? A rogue corpse muncher? Excuse me? Racist much? The woman shakes her head and sighs. Wow. I should stop caring so much, but the kids shouldn't suffer. They don't deserve this void-infested hellhole we're handing to them. I can't even call out on that. Hmm. Levina looks around him. So, what is this place exactly? What is it? Or what was it? Two different things, you know. <sighs> Maybe I answer both. Used to be a school. My husband Griff and I, we taught the uh -huh. local kids what we could. History, politics, writing, reading, a little cooking, a little alchemy. The parents paid what they could. It was enough. Can you imagine Griff being like a very caring teacher? Of course I can't. Then the Void Woken came. And, and the Magisters took Griff away to Fort Joy. Said he was luring the monsters in, like my sweet Griff would ever do such a thing. Ah, uh, sure. Now it's... it's this. I'm stuck scrubbing Lady Kem's filthy floors in exchange for coin most days. And I don't have the energy to shoo away the junkies that wander in. You don't seem really happy about this whole ordeal. Do you not like working for Lady Kem? I spent enough time doing the work. I'm not going to waste any more talking about it. Okay. What is wrong with you? First you insult me, then... Uh, you're like your husband. Griff. I actually came across him during the days in the joy. Which kind of outs as a sorceress. But what is she going to do? She's a teacher. A former teacher. You know him? Is he... was he holding up okay? She doesn't even ask about us. Yeah, Levina wouldn't lie about this. And Levina scowls. Griff was a thug and a tyrant. Of no fond words to impart. No, no, you must be thinking of someone else. My Griff is a gentle soul. He believes in the kids. He mm -hmm. made this school what it... what it was. Yeah, a very gentle soul. I'm kind of thinking, I mean, Griff was also quite addicted to Drudene, right? And we just saw that here we also have um, Drudene addicts. I'm wondering if he was using the school just as a way to trade drugs or something. If that's connected. Well, anyway, would you like those addicts to take a hike? I've tried chewing them off, but to no avail. I swear, if Griff were here, he'd have this place cleaned up in no time. Oh, that's the first thing you talk about him that I believe. If the squatters were gone, I could start fresh. Scour the place down, get the school going again. Get out from under Lady Kem's posh thumb. I'll see what I can do. Well, I wouldn't refuse your help. If Griff can't be here, maybe you're the next best thing. Despite me being a corpse eater, well, maybe. Beryl hums a few uh. random notes, just a few. But in those notes, you discern a crumb of hope. I gotta say, not a fan. 
Mrs. Squiff still lets me come over and play, as long as I don't run off too far. Sometimes we do our ABCs. But at least she seems to care about the children, so I guess at least something. Okay, we need to somehow go to the other side. Uh, well, we could just go through this entrance. The clock Let's do this. I mean, a small lock is not going to stop us. Come on, Sabil. You can lock pick stone walls, a door is nothing. Well, school's out, I dare say. Yeah, it looks like quite some chaos. Is the sister lecturing the Rudene guy? Oh, yeah, he really looks relaxed. Anyway, I get. I'm telling you, they're just jealous. They shouldn't be complaining, they should be celebrating. A thief that can steal from the thieves' guild. I should be their queen! Hmm. I wonder if it's the thieves' guild we um, discovered in the sewers. Because it looked a lot like that. Thieves' guilds. Interesting. What is all that about? You got a brain, yeah? You understand words? <laughs> it's a group of kids that steal stuff. It ain't all that complicated. At least, not for smart people. Oh, wow. <laughs> and everyone knows, these skills are always children. Kick me out, though. All because I took some stupid plate from the stash. I was just trying to show them I could, I swear. Yeah, oh, yeah. boy. What a little rascal. That's Drudene pipes. Let's talk to the guy here. My good, wonderful, exquisite brother. Chosen of Tyr Sandilius. <laughs> you bring Drudene, yes? Not really. A thief's guild like most thieves guild. Yeah, it really seems like that. So many similarities between the two games. Well, let's talk maybe first, all right? I'm Lavender, and you are? Ah, I hear enough stories. I see enough past. Every bite taken and memory gained means knowing a new atrocity. Well, I guess another war-traumatized elf. All past is past and stays in past. Now is now, and always now. This is now, we are now. No memory and no future time. <laughs> and he's positively stoned. <laughs> uh, option two. Well, let's do this. And Lavender moves in close and licks the guy's hand before he can protest. Just normal elven behavior. What are you doing? Let me just lick you. Uh, and his memories are now yours. Mm, let's see what kind of trauma we're going to take. You can't stomach more, though Diliana is prodding you, pushing you. There is more to know, she insists, and motions to the lizard limb before you. This is your duty. Hmm. You tentatively break a piece from the decaying limb and force it down your gullet. And then, mm. horrors. Flashes of scaled slavers, whips and chains in hand, and cruel songs upon their lips. Honorable elves, their faces scarred, their flesh ripped open. Yikes. Enough! The addict wipes the tears from his eyes and pushes you away. Mm. All past is past, and stays in past. Mm, okay, we can't really do anything with him. Uh, let's have a look at the quest. Evict the squatters. Well, thank you, game. Mm. Yeah, the other three don't have it easy. Let's talk to Sister Sh Shori. The look over there, shiny light. Do you see them? The mist steps. Oh no, she's also high. 
prey be his. They lead through the silver puffs and into the hall. And I thought she was trying to get him out. Nope. Just another addict. She bows towards nothing in particular and fingers <laughs> the collar of her priestly garb, then looks at you with dark, sunken eyes. You are behaving quite funnily. Must be quite the trip. I am blessed, Lim Licker, by Drudenean divinity. I glide on Lucian's breath and feed on his sighs and smiles. For him, I would walk the path of blood. He needs only sing the command. Yeah, you see very clearly. <laughs> I'm not like the Cat Lord, our Hulu. He slinks around and under and over and inside. He would skim the path and miss the blood. The priest raises her head and screams to the ceiling. Lucian, my wings are ready. I will flap and flit flop when your words go blue. Ahulu does not deserve your warm. <laughs> Ahulu. You know, it's just Ahu. But anyway, let's inquire. About that cat lord, Ahulu. I hear he avoids Lucian's tough maker, the path of blood. He is a defiler of Lucian's will, Shine Beast. The crypt waits for only divine, devout, devoted. It is not an easy make trial. But with the power of Drudene, she is confident she's going to make it. <laughs> I did amazing drugs. Bypass the blood and Lucian brings the rumble. Skyquakes across the heavens, what Lucian said. Punishment for the easy walk. Well, be my guest. I mean, it's taking a little bit um, from the later game, but it's not a spoiler. She could just go into the cathedral and try to walk the path of blood. The priest waves her arms through the air, drawing your attention to these non-existent skyquakes. But the other thing is, taking Drudene quite possibly means you can't win the... Well, the challenge. Could be worse, could be Baldur's Gate 3 lines of romances. What? What do you mean by that? Mm. And Lavender sighs and tries to show away the dope priest. You're not welcome here. Go and have your clarity somewhere else. She traces a circle on the floor with her left foot, then shakes her head. You're stymied by the foot gesture, but the head shake is more than clear. Lavender stands straight and tall. You know, though you may hear Lucian's words, you must be part. You shall not pass. I, yes. Your voice. His voice. It makes the air drops quiver. I am called to the cathedral. I will travel there anon. But how do we not get rid of the other guy? The clouds should twinkle as Lucian commanded them. Come, fireflies! He calls us elsewhere. Uh, okay. Oh, there was a third one. <laughs> well, that was easier than I thought. Hey, racist woman. We cleared the school for you. Barrel Griff. Ugh. So, how's the eviction going? You know, actually, quite alright. The eggs are gone and not a drop of blood was spilled in the process. Is that... wait, really? They're gone? Thanks for the confidence. That's good news. Maybe our hard work wasn't all for nothing then. Is there anything I can do to show my thanks? You know, what would really help me out is information. What can you tell me about the camps? She pauses and tightens her lips. A moment passes, and then another. She smiles. Hmm? Well, at the risk of saying something I shouldn't, that whole mansion is weird. She sits in that drawing room serving tea all day. As for him, well, he doesn't even sleep in the same room as his wife. Oh, the perfect marriage. He has his own bedroom, does Kem, and it's always locked. He's got secrets, you see. 
trapdoors and ladders. Where they lead, I don't know, but his wife knows nothing about them. You know, actually, a question. I mean, if Kem is like a servant of the God King, he's also turned undead, right? Do undead need sleep? <laughs> is Fane like always awake when we rest in the evening? Anyway, you've certainly been a breath of fresh air. You're no Griff. Thankfully. But it's been good having you around. All right. Well, you're welcome. I still hate your husband. I don't know if I remember this correctly, but I think the third guy um, with the long black hair, I think if you talk to him, um, he tells you a little bit about Griff actually being the one who sold them Drunei actually here. If he roams Astarian as dirt, one of his dialogue lines is, I'd rather be the only dark power inside your body. <laughs> oh boy. And not only did someone get paid to write this, as he wrote, but also to voice that. <laughs> nice. Ah, Starion, always the horn dog. Let's see. When I do, like, the stream of my Dark Urge playthrough, I have to think about who to romance. Maybe I'll try to romance a Starion. Though I'm not sure if that's comfortable with um, Redemption Dark Urge. But we could try. Hmm, I was kind of expecting more to be outside here. Ew. Wait, what? Did someone jump down here and like a saw, like land it in a saw blade? Hmm. It definitely fits a Sarian, I've got to say. Hmm. So we can also just go down here. Let's do this. A Sarian works with both dark urges. Oh, okay. I was kind of expecting not to be able to get enough um, approval. But we will see. This place had it coming. They brought the void upon themselves. Charming. Lizards always feeling superior. And the Red Prince would answer, because I am superior. Wait, what? Hmm, Bewitched Moppet. Is that like Muppet but copyright friendly? Redemption Dark Urge is really nice to play. Yeah, that's why I want to do this. But I don't know. Won't be the next game, but I want to do that on stream sometime. And I'm not too sure about who to romance. I mean, I could just go for a gale again, and that would be lovely. But I think it would be more interesting to try and to also see for you something else. Okay. Oh. Guess one last picnic. Hmm. Can't even read anything. <gasps> rotten chunk of flesh. Wait. Oh, but it's rotten, so I don't think we will get information. Yeah. This flesh is well past ripe. Mm. Whatever memories it once held are now gone. Nope. Axe fork, nope. Ah, but there's a backpack. Hmm. No information. I wonder if they ate like some poison food or something? Hmm. Anyway. Let's go back again. There are lots of dead void woven around here. Quite some battle. That must have transpired. Mm. Let's be real, gay romance is always nice. I also 
also heard that there are, or I also saw that the new patch brought like new kissing animations for Gale. Could I try them out? Anyway. Uh, before we talk to this guy here, oh, no, nah, let's talk to him first. Hi, Bewitched Moppet. Oh, it looks kind of nice. Like, made from leaves. Kind of like a, an Alvin Automaton. Craftsman's Tome, textbook, school textbook. A curious looking puppet stands motionless nearby. And something inside Lavender whispers that there's more to this plaything than meets the eye. He reaches out and touches it. We also heard the voice coming from it. You can feel a measure of source inside mm. the puppet, coiling around its mechanisms. You suddenly realize it's looking up at you with an expression of alarm. Please, leave me. I mean no harm. Not anymore. Mm. What do you mean? They gave me too much life. More than the others. They did not see that we were in a bad place. But I did. So I fled. Just to give you a little bit more context, um, we will go to a place sometime where you find lots of them and they're all just automatons. And they all have like a little spark of sauce and apparently for this one it was so much sauce that it actually became sentient. You mentioned others. Are they more like you and the places you came from? I also don't like the use of it, because I mean, it clearly seems to be sentient, right? Well, I just use it myself. Okay. <laughs> they. There are many others. They are less like me. They bear less life. They are content to kill any who enter the bad place. But I really like the voice. Though it's a bit derpier. <laughs> I'm kind of sad Will isn't as developed as the others, because he's the most heroic of the bunch. The guy could definitely have been a paladin. In the full release, yes. Did you play Early Access of BG3? Early Access, well, definitely wasn't a paladin, I'd say. <laughs> so, who's your favorite romance in BG3? You know, I want to hear about this bad place that you came from. Room of death to prevent others from reaching one who is already dead. Hmm. There are other rooms all to protect a corpse, and above a great hall of weepers and chanters. How oh, fun! A room of death sounds nice. You said gave you life. What does that mean? You call it source. Yep. They put it in me so I could watch, so I could kill. But they put in too much. I feel too much. I do not want to kill. Oh, that's kind of cute. Do you have any more information about your escape? I fled when two others entered. A woman in white and a hooded man. I did not see what became of them. Dead in the bad place, most likely. I'm quite sure he's talking about Dallas and Freedom Man, so I don't think they're dead. You must be able to tell me more about this place. Is there like a way to get through it safely? And I mean the cool thing is, now we know more about what did, where Dallas is. There are many levers. Most spell death. But a select few spell power. Seek power to seek freedom. This is what our design dictates. Master engraved it upon us at birth. Lavender turns to take a sleeve. Hiding, location, compromise. Seeking new refuge opportunities. Oh, but you forgot your box. Hmm. Oh well. Cute little automaton. Regarding World of Free, I also do wonder, um, we talked about that also multiple times, if they're going to release like an extended cut, because I'm not so sure about that. That's also a reason for me to wait a little bit more 
for starting a second stream. Alrighty. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Gale for the win. <laughs> so, I think this is, yeah, the store is still the school. So, let's have a look around in this house. Hmm, kind of looks like the outlines of someone who died. Is that it? I don't know, I think it's just this tree. Weird. Anyway. Hmm. 